showing up even when you don't feel like it. So Wednesdays are for Toastmasters. We have a meeting at 7.30 in the morning where we practice our communication and public speaking skills. And also after every meeting, I tend to want to take a nap. Wednesdays are also for naps. And so that's something I'm really appreciative of because I was typically not a nap person. Um, But after the nap and even for the rest of the day, I just didn't feel like doing anything. And that's something that I had the chance to learn a little bit more as I attended my business sister's human design workshop last night. And the information, despite what you believe about these personality tests, astrology, things of that sort, personally for me, I'm enjoying human design because it not only takes into account um, your birthday, but also the time and the location. And you know, whatever ways that speak true to us is what works for us in the time, in the moment, in the seasons. And so I learned that I'm a generator and most of the world are is generators. I think she said in her presentations like 37% and then you have the other ones such as manifesting generators, projectors, reflectors, and I think there's only like 1% of reflectors. So if y'all out there, just know that there may not be a lot of you, but there's people out there for you. <laughs> but whatever reason why they've been designed in that situation, um, we're all here for the reasons that we're here for. So with that said, one thing that has taken me a long time to understand and learn and practice, and I'm currently practicing, practicing with, is following my, my gut, you know, following my intuition, and also realizing like, like what I bring to the table is my energy, right? Like I was talking to you all in previous videos talking about it's not necessarily what you do, but it's how you do it. And so for a long time, I was like, oh, what am I supposed to be? They've been asking me like, what do I want to be when I grow up ever since I was a kid? I never really had an answer. And then they're asking us what our majors are. And I was like, I still never had an answer. And so it's barely in the past couple years, if not this past year, I'm just like, honestly, it doesn't matter what I do. What matters is how I bring my best self to the table. And also, you know, obviously that's within the work, but also the the honesty and the transparency of like, my energy right now is just not feeling it. And so that's really been difficult to practice because coming from an immigrant background, a POC background, you know, and a Filipino background, like the thing that we export is labor. So you know, again, seeing the programming of my mom working day and night, showing up each and every day, burning the midnight oil, burning the candle from both sides, and to be following on a path of, of, you know, wanting to work for ourselves. I had the example of like, if like, regardless if you're tired, if you're sleepy, if you're not taken care of, um, if other things are being forgotten, whatever the case, relationships, health, sleep, you're still going to show up and you're going to work. And so, of course, those feelings of guilt were starting to rise up in me. And I was like, gosh, I was like, I, I, you know, sometimes I'll think like, okay, like if I can't do anything like creative and like brain power, I was like, maybe I could do some body stuff, you know, like maybe I can just move things around. And, you know, as again, I'm still preparing here and selling things. But like my body was like, no, we're not doing any of that today, actually. And I'm sitting in the feelings of not feeling guilty or feeling ashamed of that, you know, because of all the program we've been receiving and being in a capitalistic society. And so, yeah, that's where I'm at. So, you know, I did what I, I did what I thought I can do, but instead I went to go sit in the grass, (laughs) watch some skateboarders and some dogs play. I laid in the sun for a little bit and I just listened to my body and to my energy. And also just to be fully transparent, I'm now having to like make sure that I want to be a little bit more conscious, of course, of the food that I'm eating. Because reality is, is today was Toastmasters, so someone brought in some candy corn, Halloween candy, and me and sweets, you know, it's a love-hate relationship. (laughs) And uh, yeah, so I had some coffee and some candy corn. And so maybe that was a factor in it, but I'm currently educating myself more on levels of spikes and things of that sort so whatever it may be you know it's all experimental trial and error and um, for those of you again who may feel guilty for days that your body doesn't feel like doing anything your mind doesn't feel like doing anything um giving us grace giving us patience giving us um compassion that hey we're just human and if we don't feel like it that day gosh you know why why force it 
why force it? So this is me all the just showing up. I was like, ah, oh, do I really want to do this Instagram live? Not really. <laughs> but here I am um, wanting to document that it's not going to be grind and hustle each day. And, and some days are just going to be nice and easy and just allowing me to flow through it the way that it needs to be flowed through. So thanks for watching and I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye.